Beech is the most common deciduous tree here in Switzerland and also in Europe. And even in America, beech is a very common tree. Wouldn't it be fantastic? Wouldn't it be a game changer if you could use beech bark as fire starter like birch bark? And you know what? It works perfect. In this video I'm going to show you what you have to consider if you want to use beach bark as fire starter. So stay tuned. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another video on my Swiss Army Knife channel. Have you ever asked yourself why birch create essential oils in the bark? There must be a reason. And the reason is certainly not that we bushcrafters can start our fires. As much I know, the combustible ingredients in the bark helps to protect the tree from pests, fungi, sunburn, and they make the bark kind of waterproof. So I ask it myself, don't have other trees the same problems with diseases, sunburn or water management? My gut feeling says, yes, of course they have. Would it be logical if other trees have total different protection mechanisms? I would say no. So for me, it wouldn't be a surprise if other trees also deposit combustible ingredients in the bark. Anything else would make no sense to me. So I started my search for other well combustible barks. But long time I wasn't successful. But then I realized something. If I peel off a few strips of bark, I have pure bark in my hand. There is no best and no cambium on the inside of the bark. This is possible because birch bark have several layers. And one single layer burns like hell. If you cut away a piece of bark from a branch or trunk, you will have cambium or best inside of the bark. And you will see, you will have much more problems to ignite this piece of bark than with a piece of bark without cambium or bust. The problem on beech bark is that beech has just one layer and it's really not easy to isolate this layer. If you want to have success with beech bark as fire starter, you need to have an idea how you can harvest this super thin beech bark. So my first idea was to cut away a piece of bark from a branch and scratch away the best and cambium layer. But beech bark is so thin that it tears apart when you try to isolate the bark. I had no chance. Later I realized that the bark often flakes off at thin half rotten branches. It looks like this. If you don't explicitly look for it, you won't notice these protruding scraps of bark. But if you have your attention on this, you will quickly find such peeled branches with this flaked off the thin bark. I was always able to collect enough of this material in a short time for starting a fire. In my opinion, it's absolutely crazy how well this bark burns. Can you see the black smoke? Nobody can tell me that there are not combustible oils or other well burning stuff in the bark. You can even ignite the bark with a fire steel, no problem. And with a lighter I can even ignite the bark if it's wet.
With this amount of bark I collected in a minute, I can make a fire starter who burns about two minutes. After these first tests, my expectation was that I will find other trees with a well-burning bark. For the best possible support, I invented my friend Ben. Ben is a forest scientist and his knowledge about trees and tree families and, and his properties is amazing. So together we've been searching a whole day for other barks you can use as fire starter. And uh, believe it or not, we found a lot of. In the video from next Friday, I want to show you which trees this was and how well the bark burned. You will be surprised, that's for sure. And by the way, Ben runs the YouTube channel Ein Mann im Wald. So next Friday, he will upload a video in German and in English where he explains the exact reason why these barks are burning and what are the ingredients and then and, and thousand things. I'm sure this will be a super interesting video. The link for his channel you find in the description box below. So my friends, that's it for today. To be honest, I'm a little bit proud that I found out this um, well-working and practical fire starting trick. I never heard uh, before that someone use uh, a beach bark as a fire starting material. In my opinion, this trick is absolutely amazing. I hope you like this trick as I do. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget tuning in next Friday again. I will show you all the well-burning barks. See you later. Ciao.